Hello, and welcome to Crafting with Madam K. So, I just got a new toy for Christmas. This is the Craft Pro Hand Press from Tandy Leather, and it's a really nice, uh, really nice machine, and I'm going to show you a couple of its features. First of all, I didn't realize this, it has four bolts in the bottom, so it's supposed to be bolted to the table. So while I'm getting my table that I can bolt it down to, in the meantime, I just simply clamp it to the table. So that's no problem, it holds it in place just fine. What I'm working with today is using the um, diamond chisel set, and that's what's gonna put really the most pressure, I think, on it. So, have, and it's been working fine, sturdy, clamped to the table, so that's fine. One thing about this tool is it didn't come with a lot of instructions. So, these are all the instructions it comes with. Two thirds of this is a different language. So, it's kind of difficult to figure out all of the tools. It'll tell you how to apply the, the setup for stamping, but not all the other attachments. So, it comes with this plate which just slides right on and you tighten the screws in the front to tension it in. This is for stamping um, using like your one inch stamps or your small stamps. It, let's move this a little closer. This twist, which can cause it to move up and down, but you never want it, once you, once you move it down far enough, you're gonna see this black line show up. There it is, the black line. You never want the starting position to have that entire black line exposed. So keep that, you wanna keep this nice and short. This doesn't lock in place, which at first I thought was, was poor design because as I'm stamping with the diamond chisel, it can twist. But at the same time, if I'm stamping something really big, it's easier to make slight modifications in the handle than it is in the giant piece of leather. So it's actually a benefit. Everything is just simply put in with tension. So with the diamond chisel set, it's this um, little plastic piece that you just set in the bottom that it's gonna stamp down into, and you tighten the screw. So now that's secured in place. And then same thing up here, there's what you're getting when you buy the diamond chisel set is the base and this attachment. And this just slides right up in here and again tightens into place. Then you purchase the chisels itself, which this is the chisel set that comes with the handle for manual chiseling um, and punching. But these chisels have a thread on them and you can thread that into the attachment. So it's actually easier to thread it into the attachment first. Now, one downside to this also is your pieces are only being held in, again, by tension. This post is only pushing up against this, as you can see where it's scratching the paint off because it's not, there's no divot, there's no hole to really hold it in place. It's just being held in place by the tension of this post. So that's a little bit of a downside because when I'm stamping heavy leather, it I stamp into the leather and then when I pull the chisel out, the leather's stuck on it. So I have to kind of pull the leather off of it and sometimes it pulls the chisel right out of the machine. So I think that that's a negative to the, the design of this, but it hasn't been a huge issue yet, but it is, yeah, it is kind of poor designing, I would think. I would think that there should be a hole straight through the attachment so that way it really secures it in place. So, okay, so let's get those out of the way. So see how, like I said, this stays like this. So if I'm stamping and then I come up, this could move and then I can make my adjustments with that. I have poor lighting in my room. So I actually just attach this flashlight to the top of it to make sure I can see the lines that I'm stamping. And it's really easy to push down. You just simply pull the handle. Ideally, you would be in front of it and you would just pull the handle towards you. And without very much um, force at all, it's putting 1.25 tons of pressure. So when I'm doing the chiseling by hand, sometimes I have to really punch it like 
two, three times to get it all the way through. So this makes it a lot easier when it comes to that. Um, it's also more precision and it also gives you a more consistent um, consistency in the punch. So it's maybe not an easier way of doing things, but it is a better and going to give you a more professional look. Um, so tune into my next video where I'm going to show you how to actually use the punch and some of the um, some of the features that we kind of have to work with because like I said, this doesn't doesn't hold still and this doesn't really lock in place so it can cause a little bit of issues. Um, I'm also going to make some videos on some maybe hacks for this because these pieces are 20, 30, 40 dollars um, and upwards to add the attachments but I think especially when it comes to the stamping attachment there's some ways around that where we can do use this machine to get the quality um, professional look without the $50 attachments. Um, okay, it may not be the right way, but it's the Madam K way. Make sure to tune into my next video and like the channel. Thanks, and thanks for having coffee with me.